Help the what? Okay, so a blind man standing in the middle of the field. Should I believe him or not? Nah? The moon is out too. Well, not the full moon, but... Oh my god, it's you! Okay, sure. How you been? What's new with you? You must decide between your past and others' future, friend. Decide, for soon it will be too late. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Decide between my past and my friend's future. That is a very... I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you that much. But I gotta choose between my past and my friend's future. By the way, how do you guys like my outfit? I feel like this is very on point with my looks here. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Now, I see the lights going on. I know he's in this place. This is my second attempt at going inside this guy's place. I don't know what's going on, though. I really don't. The map told me to come visit him. And yet, I really don't see the guy in here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but... This is actually pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. What's the point in me coming here if I can't even access the place? I think he's here, right? Hello? Doctor. Are you not able to open the door for me? I'm about to dip because this is actually pretty annoying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so she's not being attacked. She's just doing a target practice. That's cute. Hey. Feeling, Much better than I felt in a long time. I, Good to hear. If we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm going to learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Out in the rain, though? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> yeah, you're totally but missing the end it. Of labor is to gain leisure. Not what Aristotle said. Oh, uh, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but uh, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Oh, okay. Here, I'll show you. So when you shoot, you exhale. Okay. Calm and steady. So like that. You make it look so easy. Nah, cut it out. You try now. Remember to breathe. You got this. I have faith in you. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. I mean, the thing is... Okay, aim weapon. Looks like you need some practice yourself. 
Yeah, I know, right? Can I do dead eye here? Or got that, got that, and got that. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? The rat? Been on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. The rat? Say less. Right here. Alright, finally. Not that I could do any better. Just keep on practicing. That's all you gotta do, honestly. Come on, come on. I have faith in you. Come on, Charlotte. Dude, you did it! I hit it, didn't I? Yeah, I'm proud of you. What can I say? Thank you. Anytime. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Okay, sure. It's been a while since I've had some rabbit stew. Man, look at her. First time I met her, she was just a bubbling mess. Just lo just lost her husband. And now she can hunt and shoot. I'm proud of her. That is, like, some good character development, you know? This is a nice place you got here, Charlotte. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Okay. Nice. This is a cute little setup here. A nice little table. Some chairs. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. Of course. Bon appetit. Thank you so much. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. Of course. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. You're the second person who My said that. My cow was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. Hmm. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. I People agree. Born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <laughs> Sounds terrible. There's just so many people. So many things. I was Arthur, are you okay? Crushed by it. My father was very overbearing then we came out here and i got crushed by this you know i pictured myself picking fresh vegetables sipping homemade wine writing a great novel but i turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any i could ever pen oh well <coughs> i don't think you're pathetic you're gonna be just fine <coughs> arthur right. can i get you some water oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine I just, um... He's dying. <coughs> yeah, thank you for this. I think it's, it's best if I... If I make... Oh, no, he passes out. He's that weak. Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. Damn, Arthur. I felt that. I heard that. Felt that. Are you good? You really were knocked out for a moment. How does she manage to carry you to bed? She has a lot of strength. I'm not going to lie. My dear Arthur, mm. I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I'm very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Okay. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Aw, thank you, Charlotte. And my hat. Nice. Alright, I'll take some. How much? A hundred bucks. Wow. You know, out of respect, I'm not going to rummage through. And I'm just going to head on out. 
because Charlotte's my friend and I'm not going to steal her or take advantage of her hospitality, you know? Damn, I'm not going to lie. That soup really took me out. There you go. Let me get a little bit drunk at least. Okay, so she went out hide um, hunting, so I really hope she's okay. But other than that, I'm just going to be on my way. I tried visiting the mad scientist, but yet again, he was not at his laboratory, so maybe I'll try again sometime. Who knows? So, Arthur Londonderry is the man I am interested in finding. It seems like he, what, owed money or something? Is this the guy? You got any business at the mine? Yes. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Yes. Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Oh, okay. Thank you. I... Let's see. Define down in the pit. Right there? Alright, thank you, kind sir. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Down at the pit. So, he has to be... Well, according to the map, he's around the corner, so... And, as far as Strauss is concerned, he needs to stop this money-lending business. It's actually getting pretty nauseating, in my opinion. Every single time I come to collect, no one has the money. You know how pathetic that sounds? Am I in the right area, or no? Because this is definitely not down at the pit, per se. Hold on, hold on. Oh, snap. Hold on. This is not the pit. This is not the pit. Where is this guy? Okay, I'm tweaking, because clearly, I'm in the wrong location. This ain't it. Excuse me. According to my map, he is somewhere down below. So, below I will go. Safely, because I'm not trying to get killed. Okay, so down below the pit. He has to be... Down here, around here somewhere, so. Okay, let me go down the pit. Yeah. Where is this guy? Nah, seriously, where is this man? This is getting nauseating. Down by what pit? Hold on. Okay. He is down at the pit. You know what? Right here. That's what I'm going to do. Because clearly, I really don't know where this man is located. And that's embarrassing. It really is. Have you ever lend someone money and they gave you every single excuse as to why they can never give back the money. I remember one time I lent some money to a former friend of mine and he not only told me that he was not able to pay me back but he conveniently told me he lost his job so he didn't even have any money to pay me back. And I'm like, really? Really? Now you're telling me this. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Should I... I'll go down here, right? And I'll go over here. Are you the foreman? No? I'm seriously about to give up. Like, this is so nauseating. 
How would I access said pit? I need to know. Let me let me go. Ooh, no 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. I'm not going down there. Not like that, anyways. Let me see if I could. Yeah, there you go. Excuse me. All right, down by the pit, right? Hey, uh, can I help you? We're trying to mine coal here. You know where I can find Arthur Londonderry? Arthur Londonderry. Yes. Uh, I think you're gonna want to speak with the foreman. Head way down there towards the coal face. Down there, coal face. You know what? Let me just walk. I'm gonna just walk over here because this is so insane. This is not. Maybe in here? Okay, so this is not it. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? Just because I pushed someone, you know what? You know what? I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. So crazy how y'all just want to shoot. Just because I accidentally bumped into someone. How pathetic. How pathetic. I can't stand this city. Anyways, I'm out. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't even breathe the same spot. Stupid. You know what? I'll just do that mission later. So I decided to go check up on Micah. And why would this little rat here be in this house? Hitch horse? Good work, pal. I can't be here because of my recent crimes? Are you kidding me? Come on, don't play with me. I really have nothing to do. I'm finally in this random town, so... Wh I, what am I looking at here? What? You have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. What is this? And Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. Sounds like manipulation to me. Where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with weapon that snot nose run into shape. He owes me. What? What? Bertram and Marjorie. Everything okay? Bertram like a sherry. Ma'am. Imagine saving people. Okay. To your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they. Oh no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. Ma'am, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom in the back. Are you not paying attention to what's going on here? No, Bertram, 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 whoop, whoop, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Uh, what? Uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Don't tell me I have to fight him. Oh, shoot. There you go. There you go. Oh, block. Woo. Bye. Oh, man. I'm fighting with someone who 
has some sort of a disability. This is all types of wrong, man. Oh, Arthur, be careful! This is not what I want, man. Let's go. Oh, he got me. Man, this is crazy! Oh, we're not gonna do that. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? I put him in his place and you're babying him. That's crazy. You should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. You're a weirdo, ma'am. You like you're so weird. But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? Should I? Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Oh, this is so weird. I assume these two guys were from, what, the circus? A freak show, specifically? Find Magnifico. Oh, my hat. Hold on, let me pick up my hat. Hey, howdy. That one was pretty weird, huh? Oh, yeah, that violin. Look at that. This is nice. Okay, so should I really find this little magician here? I don't know. That lady is so unpleasant. The way that she was just treating that guy. Do I really want to help her find this Magnifico? You know what? I should. Not because I want to help her, but I just want to see what this guy looks like. So, Magnifico is camping around this area. I see some fire burning, so that could be him, possibly? Let me see. Get out! Is that really him? Yeah, that's him. Whoa! <laughs> that's amazing. If you say so. <laughs> Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? Well, no. She's a succubus. She's a succubus. No. Stay away from me. What? Hey. Don't tell me I have to lasso the guy. Oh gosh, this is not it. Come here. There's only so much you can do to run away. Come on, Magnifico. What? Come on, man. Where you at? How did he get to the other side? No, you're not. But, oh, just as I'm about to lasso. You know what? Where's, where's my horse? What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. Come on, man. Okay, the orange one. I'm gonna do the orange one. No. Oh, yeah, very clever. 
Great, right here. Listen here, little leprechaun. And I can't even shoot him either. The fact that I have to literally chase this guy. Damn it. Now where you gone? Magnifico. Don't make me lasso you, man. I'm about to lasso this man. Where you at, fool? Where are you at? Over here, dummy. Over here? You're on the tree. Okay. Here you go. What? I can't lasso him? Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Dynamite? Oh Hello, shit. Dummy. Where are you? Really? Again? Come on, Magnifico. Don't be like that. Oh, don't tell me he's on the train. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Got you. Huh, I didn't even need to catch him. Big Fanny tells it you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. What's so a what? French pox? You need a stub of a showman for same bad jokes, the same cheap tricks in a package half the size. You got Bertram, you got dummy over there. Who is dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> no, 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 shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed oh. your brother. So oh. you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Wow. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family. A dysfunctional family. Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to mama. Oh, yeah. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. This is don't one run off on us like that again. Dysfunctional together, family. Together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the bag. Whatever. We gotta give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here. Thanks, I guess. About splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I See ya. You too. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.